The question says, in the given system of equations, P is a constant. If the system has no solution, what's the value of P? So in the system, we have two lines because all the X's are to the first power. And on the SAT, when you are given two lines and it's asking for number of solution, it's asking for the number of intersection. And how do we find the number of intersections for two lines? Well, we use something known as the matching rule. I'm going to link in the pinned comment as well. And how you do it is you align the X, Y, and the numbers and you compare their ratios. So here's how it works. So if I move this to the other side, I'm going to get six over two Y minus minus one over four X is equal to two over three. And for this one, I'm gonna move Y to the other side, minus P Y plus one half X is equal to six over two. And now that our Y's X and the numbers are all lined up, I'm gonna compare the ratio of the coefficients or the numbers attached to these variables. And according to the matching rule, the ratio of the Y's and X must be the same. So for Y, it's going to be 6 over 2 over minus P. And then for X, it's going to be negative 1 fourth over 1 over 2. And we know that they have to be the same in order for there to be no solution. So 